life in a world that keeps changing think that it's progress you're making copy and paste pretty faces all the time picture so perfect we play through only hello family welcome back to my channel thanks to all my subscribers for your constant love and support i appreciate it so much guys and if you're new to my channel or this is the first time you're tuning in please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so whenever i upload a video you'll be the first to know so guys i know i've been mia for a while now i'm so sorry about that guys but as some of you might know i'm a student nurse and i've started my placement so i've been really busy guys it's so hectic i'm not complaining though but it's really hectic because i have to wake up like five in the morning to get to my placement for 7 20 and i get back home around 10 half past 10 at night by the time i get home i'm so tired i just get my shower and go to bed prepare myself for the next day so i've really not had any time even to myself you know not talking about even editing so i'm really really sorry about that i'm apologizing to you guys but i'll make it up to you because i've got lots of videos in store for you the only problem is i've not had time to edit but i'll make time one of these days and try to edit some videos but hey i'm here now today i am going to showcase the most requested video which is people been asking me to cook the famous Sierra Leonean dish, which is cassava leaves. So we are here to cook cassava leaves, yay! So I'm going to be cooking cassava leaves today. So if you're interested to see how I prepare my cassava leaves, then stay tuned. So guys, let me just take you through the ingredients I'll be using to cook my cassava leaves. So here in the bowl, I've got two white onions. I've got okra here. This is, um, <laughs> for those of you from maybe West Africa, you know what this is, okra. It's, it's basically a fermented sesame seed, but it really got some horrible smell, but I don't know why we like it. It gives the sauce some nice kind of flavor, <laughs> some flavor. And here I've got some pepper my maggie cube because i don't normally use salt a lot when cooking so i prefer to use maggie cube so this is the cassava leaves i'll try to insert a video of the leaves so you can see how it looks like this one has already been grinded so it's ready to be cooked and here i've got some crabs you can cook it without crabs but whenever i can lay my hands on crabs i like to add them to my cassava leaves that is just me. I've got some palm oil here. If this is too much for you, you can reduce it to your own liking. This is smoked turkey. What I normally do with my smoked turkey, I like to boil it for about 10, 15 minutes before cooking it. So, and then I will get rid of the water because it's too fatty. And then I will also remove the skin. So I'm going to get rid of this. I just wanted to show you. This is the skin from the smoked turkey. And here I've got goat meat. I will not be using all of this. Normally what I do when I go for my shopping, I tend to boil all my meat and then I'll divide it into a smaller portion. And then when it's cooled down, I put it in the freezer. So whenever I'm ready to cook, I'll just take it out. It saves me time than all the time boiling and boiling. So I'm going to take some of this for my cassava leaf and I'll be using also the beef stock to cook my cassava leaves. And here I've got peanut butter. As you can see there, this one has no sugar. You always look for the one that it has no sugar to cook cassava leaves. And this is really a main ingredient for cooking cassava leaf. You always have to have uh, peanut butter when cooking cassava leaves. And here, guys, I'm obsessed with butter beans. I like adding butter beans to my cassava leaves or potato leaves. So this is the beans that I'll be using. And here I've got some salt just in case if I need it. So basically, these are the ingredients that we need. So let's get cooking now. So I'm going to add the turkey back into the pot. 
leave it to cook and I'm going to add the cassava leaves into a pot to add more pig stock I'll leave the meat for now because it's already cooked so I don't want to overcook it I'm going to add two maggi cubes mix it and leave it to cook guys there's one thing about cassava leaves you have to leave it to cook really well before adding other things because Cassava leaf has got some chemical in that's why some countries in Africa like I know for example I don't know for now if they, they start eating it but Nigerians don't eat normally eat cassava leaves I know that the Nigerians that are living in Sierra Leone they do eat cassava leaves and I know that in Ghana most people don't eat cassava leaves because of they think that this chemical in the cassava leaf it's not good. The chemical in the, in the cassava leaves or cassava is called the cyanides. I stand to be corrected if I don't pronounce it well. Cyanides. So that's why you need to cook it well. You understand? Once you cook it well, you don't have any problems. That's why they also recommend that we use like palm oil and peanut butter. A lot of peanut butter when cooking cassava leaves. By doing that, it helps but the peanut butter helps to loosen the cassava leaves. I don't know how to say it in English, but it has its own benefit when you cook, when you put the peanut butter in cassava leaves. It also lessen all those chemicals in the cassava leaves. So you, it's always good to put peanut butter, lots of peanut butter. There are also lots of health benefits when it comes to cassava leaves. So I'm just going to talk about a few of them. You know, like um, it contains vitamin A, and it also study have also shown that it, it helps to improve vision and it also it is used to treat diarrhea and it's used to cure migraines it improve digestion it is good for weight loss it increase the energy it also contains a good amount of fiber which promotes the growth of probiotic bacteria and and which help to boost the immune system the fiber in cassava leaves is the same amount as the one in beans and in lentils. It also has uh, vitamin C, which is an uh, excellent antioxidant for helping with the prevention of cardiovascular diseases, stroke and cancer. So as you can see, it's really good. Cassava leaf has got lots of health benefits. As long as you cook it well, you have no problem. I'm just going to add my peanut butter at this point. Some people tend to put less peanut butter, but me, I like to put a lot. I don't do measurement because I'm used to cooking, so I know how much I need. Let's just say one spoon. <laughs> I know that is not one spoon, but two, three, That's it. And the other thing is, you have to let the peanut butter cook very well. If it's possible, just mix it well, you know, because you don't want to be eating cassava leaf and then feeling some raw peanut butter in your mouth. So you have to make sure that it's really cooked. Everything about cassava leaves have to be well cooked. I know there's some people that tend to put add the palm oil at the end of the <laughs> at the very end of when they are finishing to cook cassava leaf i'm not saying it's wrong but i don't cook my cassava leaf like that you see after this i'm gonna leave it to cook for about two three minutes and i'm going to add my palm oil straight away because you have to make sure that the palm oil is also cooked you don't want to be eating cassava leaf and smelling the raw palm oil you know what i mean if you're from africa you know what i mean you don't want to eat cassava leaf if you smell the raw palm oil so 
me, me cassava leaf for cook well, me granite for cook well, me pamai for cook well. I know they put me pamai at the end of the cook. I know say most people they do that when they the cook now uh, after where they not put all thing and put the pamai. So I'm thinking that you they eat and you they smell the raw pamai. No. I not feel say <laughs> not so for cook, but I know they judge anybody. Everybody get in your way for cook. But who say me come out now the province southern part of Sierra Leone? This now the Mende cook. This now the Mende cassava leaf for the cook so. So now so we the cook we young. Guys, the one of the most important thing I forgot to tell you about this. This is smoked fish. This is dry bonga. And I want to say a big thank you to my mom for sending me this bonga fish all the way from Freetown. I appreciate you and I love you. So guys, it's always nice to add some kind of smoked fish into your cassava leaves. It gives it a very nice flavor. You can cook it without it, but trust me, if you add some smoked fish, it will give you a really, really nice flavor. So I'm going to be blending this. I don't like putting my bonga into the pot like this because bonga tends to have lots of bones. What I normally do, I will blend it and put the powder into my sauce. But if you have any other fish that is not full of bones, you can just break it and put it into your pot straight away. But because this is bonga, I would advise if you're using bonga, especially if you have kids or even for yourself, blend it. Look at those bones. Let's put it in the small blender. So I'm just going to add my bonga. As you can see, it's better now. At least I've blended some of the bones. So that is okay. I also have my pepper, augury and some onion in the blender here. So I'm just going to add all of that into the pot and mix it. Wow. Hmm. And the only thing about cooking a cassava leaf is like just be ready to clean your whole kitchen especially if you're using palm oil it will be jumping all over the place messing the whole place up but trust me it is yummy at the end of the day so i'm going to add the onion as well i'm going to add a little bit of salt So I'm going to add a palm oil now, this point, leave the palm oil to cook, maybe leave it for about Four minutes before adding anything make sure the palm oil is well cooked so I'm going to add the meat now guys Whoa, it's jumping all over the place so I just add the meat quickly I'm not adding a lot of meat because I've got the turkey in mix it then at this point I will add my beans because the beans is already cooked so I didn't want to add it at the beginning Hmm, look at this guys at this point I will add my crabs as well because everything is cooked now we are just going to leave the crabs to soak in the oil now add my peppers extra for myself If you want you can also test it that's way african way mm. put it in your palm 
and to your tongue. <laughs> Right now. So guys, the last thing you put is your okra. So this is a frozen okra. I'm just going to blend it and put it into the pot. So this is the last thing you put your okra. So I'm going to add the okra. And just leave it there for maybe two minutes before mixing it. You have to be careful. Oh, look at that. Look at those crabs. Mm, yummy. So guys, this is our end product. Our cassava leaf with some plain rice. Just gonna dig in this one. Guys, but I like adding lime to my food. The things that you're feeling, capture your body, get your best side, breathe in the world, fake a smile, walk in the line. I'll see you in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.